Hi, my name is Miss Donna from the Glenwood Library, and this is my five books in five minutes. Yes, indeed, it's time for five books in five minutes. For my first book, I'm using Sandy Feet, Whose Feet, because I'm going to the beach, and I'm really excited this year because when I go to the shore, I'm going to be a detective. I'm going to try and find nine footprints in the sand that I can identify. I'm going to learn how to do it with sandy feet, whose feet, footprints at the shore. So when you go, there's so much to see and do. But after we take our time, we actually see that there are many different kind of footprints in the sand. This year, I'm gonna learn what every single one came from. So that's Sandy Feet, Whose Feet, Footprints at the Shore, written by Susan Wood and illustrated by Stelinia Doniva. <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like somebody really wants our attention. Oh, I see. You have a book. Please don't read this book. Seriously? Don't, don't, don't? Huh, you look like a nice, friendly guy. But you have rules? Hmm. And fart sounds? Uh, I don't know about this book. And you have redonkadonk faces? Oh, your teachers are not going to want me to let you read this book. So please don't read this book. It's written by Deanna Kisses and illustrated by Sam Botton. Don't read it, don't read it. Oh, don't you just love my cutest little plushies? I love them so much, I could almost explode. Oh, wow, it's true what they say. Too much cuteness really does cause explosions. Which makes me think of poor Fluffy McWhiskers. She has her own cuteness explosion problems. Fluffy McWhiskers, cuteness explosion. Oh, she's so cute. Fluffy McWhiskers was cute. Dangerously cute. Yes. Fluffy McWhiskers was so cute that if you saw her, you'd explode. Will Fluffy ever find a plan to keep herself and all her friends and the world safe? You'll have to read and find out. So that's Fluffy McWhiskers, Cuteness Explosion, Explosions by Stephen W. Martin, Cuteness by Dan Tavis. Arrgh. Hey, me mateys. I'd like to tell you about my good friend, Nell. She boarded a pirate ship for a spell and she was seeking adventure. And one night, she found it. Yes, there be a bottle with a map in it. Oh, a treasure map? Well, so her captain thought and he claimed it for his own. Arrgh! There's storms, there's confusion, there's tragedy. But Nell saved the day, rescuing him and all the other mates aboard the ship to find that perhaps they had found the island they've been searching for. But what is the treasure? Was it really the right place? You'll have to read Pirate Nell's Tale to Tell, a storybook adventure written by Helen Daltrey and Thomas Daltrey. Whoa, a dazzle of zebra. A flamboyance of flamingos. A huddle of penguins. A swarm of bees. Together, they're better. A pot of dolphins. What is this? Together, they're better. You'll find them all in Hannah Soller's book, 
packs strength in numbers. I don't think your teachers will find it out. <laughs> oh my God. That's the part. Oh, no, I didn't explain.